welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me video just to switch it up. I've been doing a lot of just regular eyeshadow tutorials and today I thought let's just do the full face. Hopefully this won't be 20 minutes long. I'm going to try my best, but um, since, you know, I'm trying to speed things up a little bit, but still chat, let's just, let's just jump right into it. Um, I curled my hair for the first time and whoo! I, I actually curled it like two weeks ago and then I was about to film and then my lovely cat Graham Graham actually oh he's he's on top of the TV stand though like why wouldn't he be there um, he knocked down one of my soft boxes and broke my light bulb so I couldn't film and I vlogged about it so if you guys haven't seen that vlog you can go ahead and check it up check it up right here Check it out up there. And um, yeah, so we're gonna start off with foundation. I already moisturized, I don't use a primer. I wanted to try again the CoverGirl Outlast Active Foundation um, because somebody had told me it's supposed to be a dupe for the Ready Set Gorgeous and I used to love that foundation. I tried it once, I don't, I don't remember how I felt about it, so we're gonna try it again. Um, and I'm using my Beauty Blender by Real Techniques. It's just a beauty sponge, really, the complexion sponge. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I'm breaking out a little bit. Um, well, I'm done breaking out. Now I just have the scars, which is the best part. Um, and yeah, let's see how this foundation goes. The foundation doesn't look bad at all. I think it actually looks really nice on my skin. Like, it doesn't look too heavy. Do I think it's full coverage? No, you can still see my scarring peeking through on my chin and also a little bit on my cheeks. But I'm not too worried about that because my concealer, the Too Faced Multi-Use uh, Sculpting Concealer, like can cover all of that. So, so far so good. The only thing that I'm not a fan of is that it's just like really heavily fragranced. It's like sunscreen mixed with like some sort of fragrance. I don't know what. Um, but I'm going to put my eye primer on. It's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Pro <laughs> Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. And then I'm gonna fill in my brows and I will meet you guys right back here. I just wanna speed things up, you know what I mean? So one, two, three, and now I have my eyebrows on and some primed eyes. So we are ready to jump into the eyeshadow. But before I do that, let me just give you the rundown on what I'm gonna be doing today. So I have been saying in several of my videos that I wanted to do a neutral eye on top and then a, like a, a and then like a crazy color on the lower lash line, mainly green or purple. And I was at Target yesterday and I found this palette by Wet n Wild. And I was like, when did this come out? I've never seen this before. Is this old? Is this new? I don't even know. It says, it doesn't say anything. It's in VIP, VI purple. And I was like, how perfect is this palette? You have your neutrals, basics on one eye, on one side, and then you have pinks and purples on the other. It's like exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to just do a halo neutral eye on top. And then I was gonna use this cooler toned purple um, because I also bought an eyeliner, but I think I wanna try this purple instead. Ooh, it's like a violety, purpley pink. I don't know. So I'm just gonna zoom you in and we can get started. But that's what I that's what I wanted to do. And I have a tutorial with Rose in the Air and Nude Awakening, and those videos did pretty well. So I figured this would be a good little. Oh my god, I have a freaking one of my nail stickers on the side of my head. Nobody nobody saw that. Oh my god. Anyway, those two Wet n Wild videos did well, so I figured I would do this one. And these these palettes are really nice. I mean, Wet n Wild is one of my favorite drugstore brands. I kind of wish they would go back to like the old school Wet n Wild, but that's like a different story. So yeah, let's let me zoom you in and we can get started. One thing that this palette doesn't have is a light cream that I can highlight the eyebrow with, but I'm just gonna use um, my powder that's in this Too Faced palette and we'll call it a day, but that's the only thing that's missing. Um, if you have darker skin, you might be able to get away with this color right here, but for me, this is a transition color. So this is the first color that I'm going to go in with, with my Sigma E40. And as always, going back and forth, this is gonna be my like transition blending color and the fridge just kicked on, so lovely. I forgot how much I love Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Like, I know that I like them, but I kind of forgot how well they work. Oh my god, this color looks, this color blended out so well. 
looks really good. I'm gonna pick up this really warm transition color and I'm gonna put this in my crease and then I'm gonna start to build this color up on the outer portion of my lid and also in the inner portion of my lid. I'm starting to create that halo effect that obviously we're going for today. In this little domed brush by e.l.f. and picking up that shade and kind of just packing the color on with the E25. It's a little bit like diffused. This I'm like packing on, it's a little bit more concentrated, the color. So packing that on in the outer V and then I'm also gonna put it in the inner corner. I'm doing my other eye, same exact way. This is like my problematic eye. It just never looks as good as my right eye. Do you guys have a good eye and a bad eye? I feel like I say that in a lot of my videos, but it's true, man. This always gives me problems. Wet and wild, wow. Wow, you're, you shouldn't be impressing me, but you are, I just, wow. I'm gonna go back in with the first transition color that I used and just blend out the edges. I don't wanna lose that gradient effect. Sometimes I get carried away and it's, you know, I do. Um, but today, let's not, Katie. Let's concentrate, let's really get this eyeshadow going. Oh my God, I love, I just, these blend out so easy and they're super pigmented. I wanna add just a little bit more definition. So I'm gonna take this shade. It looks black, but I think it's just a really dark brown. I'm taking the same little e.l.f. Um, crease brush and this is going in the outer portion of the lid and the inner one, but I'm not going as far in, you know, towards the center of my lid. This is just like on the outer portions. Just adding a little bit more depth. I want that chocolatey brown to really stand out, but you know, I just want a little bit more oomph and I think this is gonna help. Just a little extra oomph, but now I'm gonna go back in with that chocolatey brown that I love so much and just kind of blend everything out. I just love how well these shades like work together. I'm taking my first transition again and just blending everything out one more time. You can never blend too much, honestly. You really can't, because you can always add more color if you go a little bit too hard on the blending. Just add more color, blend out a little bit, and then you know, you're good to go. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can focus on the inner lid, in the middle of the lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and just conceal the inner portion of my lid. That way, the shimmery colors that I'm gonna use are really gonna pop. I like to just blend it out with my finger I feel like it gives a more kind of like diffused effect. I have Impress nails on today. They're like super fancy. They're there. It's their Couture collection. I love these nails so much. This is exactly how I want my nails to be. If I ever get the guts to get fake nails, I'm just gonna bring these in and be like, this is exactly what I want. Um, as far as the shape and the length goes, the color, I feel like, you know, this is a little all for me, but it is what it is. I'm gonna wet my brush. Today I'm using um, Urban Decay's All Nighter. And then I'm going to take the really pretty gold in this palette and that's going in the inner portion. Some shimmery shades just look really thick and rich. That's how this looks. I'm really, really impressed. Wow. I'm going in with um, the chocolatey brown right here. Just blending everything out. You gotta blend the shimmery color out a little bit. You wanna make sure it's, you know, seamless. You know, I feel like I wasn't super messy with my eyeshadow today. Usually it's, you know, I'm crazy because I have like hooded lids um, that I feel like I have to go a little crazy and then I clean everything up. But today, I don't think I did that bad of a job other than my bad eye, but I feel like I could just put liner on and I'm good to go. I'm just gonna pick up um, the contour palette by Too Faced, and I'm gonna mix. I'm just gonna take this color. Actually, I was gonna mix the yellow and the pink, but I think I'm just gonna do the pink. Kind of brighten up the inner corner a little bit, get the eyebrow, and then now we can move on to concealer. Finally.
Do you guys hear the thunder? It's crazy. Um, I'm gonna do eyeliner now. I feel like I haven't done eyeliner in so long. So before I set the concealer, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Serum. I'm gonna try and stay in frame, but uh, you know me, guys. I'm not that, oh my God. I'm not that good at eyeliner, so give me a little break, okay? Okay, one wing is done. Um, I will link a video that I did quite a while ago on my like how to do winged eyeliner. I'm gonna do the other eye, but if you guys wanna watch that video, Go ahead, I'll link it up here. Now it's time to do the bright lower lash line and I really want this color to pop. So I'm gonna place a little bit of the Wet n Wild um, highlighter, the Ultimate Brow Highlighter. I'm gonna place a little line across the lower lash line so that when I put the bright purple, it's like really gonna pop, you know what I mean? I don't know if you guys can see it, but I put a very light layer down and now I'm picking up that purple, that like violety, pinky purple and I'm just gonna put it on the lower lash line. Guys, it's so pretty! Right, so I'm gonna put on some false lashes because I feel like this look just needs a good pair of false lashes. I'm using the uh, Ardell Foam Ink in 817. I didn't like how these looked on my face the last time I used them, so wish me luck. Because I'm really liking this look and I don't want it to be ruined by the lashes. I'm back, eyes are done. It was a struggle, to say the least, to put on these false lashes. I feel like this one's flipping up in the inner corner, but don't judge me. Okay, so I'm gonna contour today. I haven't contoured in a long time, um, and I just kinda wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I'm taking the Too Faced con Coco Contour, taking a light contour, and just contouring my cheeks and my temple, and a little bit on my jawline. I wanna cream contour so bad, but I'm so not good at it. And I feel like I look super muddy, so I kind of just stick to powders. And we're gonna go into bronzer. What, what bronzer? Oh, I decided to use the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster today. I haven't used this in a while, um, so that's the bronzer of choice. I've talked about this so many times, but you know, I used to be so insecure about being white because um, I'm very, very pale, um, and. I mean, recently, as, I, as I've gotten older, I've kind of been like, you know what? It is what it is. Like, I just, I can't, get, there's nothing I can do. I mean, I can fake tan, of course, and I like fake tanning, actually. Like, I like to look tan, but, like, I can be in the sun for, like, hours, and number one, I'm, you know, that's sun damage for me. But also, um... You know, I don't really get that tan, so it's kind of a waste of time for me. So, uh, for blush, I wanted something a little more purpley, a little more mauve -y. So, I'm going to be using this one by Becca. It's Wisteria. I sure hope they still sell this because I feel bad me using a product that you guys can't get. But, you know, a lot of my blushes that I have are kind of old. Not old. I mean, they're old. They're old. But, you know, what am I supposed to do? Like, buy all new blushes? I don't have money for that. I love this little Becca blush palette a lot. It has this purpley color, and then it has a nice little orangey, and then a bronzy. Like, it's the perfect little blush palette. I've always wanted to do a, um, like, my blush collection video, but I don't know. I just haven't gotten around to it. Would you guys be interested in that? My blush, or my blush palette collection. Like, I have a ton of, of blush palettes. So I wanted to kind of do something like that, but I just don't know... I don't know if that's a thing, you know? Let's bake and blend this out. I feel like I'm looking a little clowny, but what's new? Highlighter though, hello Katie, I almost forgot. Um, I wanted to switch it up today and use this palette that I got from Makeup Geek. It's it's in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I believe May, um, she Marlena does sell these highlighters individually. So I'm gonna do a mixture of Starlight and this one sunlight. I'm also going to take a little bit of that same mixture and put it in the inner corner of my tear ducts. Let's dust off all of this powder, kind of blend everything out. Okay, so I'm going to use the Jordana lip liner in nude pink. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use MAC Angel. And then um, for gloss, I'm gonna use All the Stars by Too Faced. I added um, MAC Whirl right on top. Um, let's give it a little bit of a gloss. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a gloss. Oh no. 
All right, guys, that is it. Finished look, the eyes. Oh my God, wet and wild. This palette is beautiful, guys. I might like it more than the rose in the air one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to see. Eyeshadow tutorials, makeup, full face makeup tutorials, um, hauls, whatever. You guys let me know and I'm at your service. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.